So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. You Kansans breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. But hell, what's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about. were out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was then that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from on high, and those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. waiting on me.
Sounds like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. about then. Much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. But it turned out that they had me. I'm sending you to hell! The Daltons had played me like a fiddle. Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Oh, yeah, but I was in a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? Largest one in the world. Um, You're talking um, about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed big. I don't think it'll even slow. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic oh. is unsinkable. Oh, God. But uh, getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get off it, Mr. Grease? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally disembark. I was coughing up smoke and pretty damn pissed. I was done playing games with those boys. about to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. got it wrong. A sad end for those two. 
If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers.